Today, I'm talking about the Skechers Go Run Ride 8 Hyper after 100 miles. Five point one one miles, nine minutes, twenty five seconds per mile, one hundred forty beats per minute. Getting miles in for my morning run commute today in the Go Run Ride Eight Hyper. And with today's miles, I was able to cross the one hundred mile mark for this shoe. Now, before I get into my detailed thoughts about this shoe, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I bought with my own money. No one sent it to me. No one's paying me to make this video or to wear this shoe. And no one's going to get a chance to preview any of this footage before you guys see this video on YouTube. Now, with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Go Run Ride 8 after 100 miles. Now, this is a lightweight daily trainer that I've been using for runs from distances as short as five miles and as long as 19 miles for time on feet for about 45 minutes to three hours. And while there are some times where I felt like I wanted maybe a little bit of a softer shoe, a little bit more cushion in there, um, it never got to the point where it the shoe bothered me at all. And despite any occasional times where I wanted something a little bit softer, uh, I found that I was able to put in the miles day after day, which is exactly what you want when you're looking for a daily trainer. So uh, this shoe has been treating me exceptionally well and I've been really impressed with how it's been able to rack up the miles in a very short amount of time. The shoe just really likes to run, it just likes to go. So I've been enjoying wearing the shoe. I had some initial foot pain in the shoe on the right side. My right foot kind of felt like it was getting a hot spot and was getting a little concerned about that. Uh, but that went away relatively quickly uh, as I started running more with this shoe. Uh, I don't know if it's that I changed pace is a little bit got a little bit quicker got from kind of like slower recovery paces to more like daily training paces uh, I'm not sure if that's what it is or if it was just a break-in issue but uh, again it was something that I kind of was trying to keep an eye on and when I'm talking about times when I think that I wanted something a little bit softer I don't know if that's exactly what I was feeling but in any event it wasn't an issue uh, and nothing that was out of the ordinary for some of the distances and the mileage that I was putting on this shoe. So uh, the shoe's been holding up really well. I'm liking this Hyperburst midsole material. Uh, it's really lightweight uh, and it does give a nice amount of spring and responsiveness for those times where you do want to pick it up a little bit. The shoe is pretty nimble and if you want to go a little bit faster, you can definitely do that. So the shoe's got range. You can go shorter distances faster, go longer distances a little bit slower. I don't think it likes to go really slow so it's not the shoe that I would reach for for my recovery day for example uh, but I was able to take it on a three hour run so uh, and it handed, handled that really well without any issues at all on that day and the following day is a day that I ran a math test and ended up running I think 12 or 13 miles the following day so in terms of back-to-back -back runs putting in lots of long miles handles it really well and I was very impressed with how the shoe did. In terms of wear and tear on this shoe, the upper is holding up fantastically well. The knit material up front is starting to mold a little bit to the shape of my toes and my foot, uh, which is nice and something that uh, I was hoping would happen. The fit up front is really pleasant. Uh, snug in the toe box in a very good way, not too snug though. Uh, so giving my foot plenty of room while also keeping me nice and locked in. Uh, the midfoot lacing, flat laces, relatively straightforward, uh, had no problems with that at all. Uh, there's just a little bit of padding around the heel cup and I felt like it was just the right amount for a daily trainer, nothing too plush, nothing too cushioned. I have a little bit of comfort there, but also nothing that could get in my way. Uh, in terms of the outsole, the outsole is holding up fantastically well. There's still the usual wear that I normally see at 100 miles. So right around this part and the pads of my foot and in the lower outer part of my heel, but it's doing a little bit better than I was expecting it would do for 100 miles, especially for like the design of the rubber that's like this. Usually when something is very angular, very sharp uh, edges, 
I find that that tends to rub down really quickly. Uh, it is holding up really well. So uh, the Goodyear rubber, nice and grippy, holding up well. Pretty happy with the way that the outsole is performing. And the midsole uh, still feels absolutely fantastic. It feels like it's still a pretty much a brand new shoe in terms of the way that it feels while I'm running in this shoe. Holding up fantastic. I've been enjoying the miles in this shoe. Maybe not at the outset, but once me and the shoe kind of figured each other out, I've been really happy with this shoe. Very surprised with it. I'm liking it way more than I thought I would. Uh, the Skechers Go Run Ride 8, definitely a real running shoe, which was one of my like initial concerns. Definitely a really good daily trainer. Uh, gives you a lot of range in terms of what you can do running in this, the types of runs, the types of distances, and the types of paces. So a very versatile shoe, very happy with it. At 120 bucks, I feel like if I look at this side of the shoe, I feel like this is a, a really good value uh, at $120. When I look at this side of the shoe, I feel like the shoe should be maybe like 110, 105, that'd be a good price. And that has a lot to do with the Skechers branding. I've talked about that already a lot in lots of other videos. We'll kind of leave it at that. If you want to talk about it more in the comments, I'm happy to explain, or if you have questions or comments, I'd love to talk to you guys more about it down there. But at $120, this shoe is definitely worth it and i'm not sure if there's going to be any sales going on with this shoe or if the price drops below that 120 dollars price point i think that it's definitely a solid pickup so i've been really happy with the sketchers go run ride 8 hyper after 100 miles and i definitely feel like you can get a lot more miles out of this shoe uh, so very impressed with it a very good shoe i'm not so sure that i'd agree with jamie and that it's the shoe of the year but it's definitely one of the best daily trainers that I've run in in 2019. That's all I have to say about the Go Run Ride 8 Hyper from Skechers Performance. Before I go, I do want to remind you guys about the second charity runner for this week. Earlier in the week, we had Sam Ward who ran the Memphis Marathon Weekend for St. Jude. The second half of the week, we've got Oscar Lazarki who is who recently ran last saturday he ran the perpetual motion six hours so he could raise money to buy presents for underprivileged kids so i was very happy to donate 70 dollars to his fundraising efforts and i'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more he's going to be collecting money until the 14th at which point then he'll go and, and get those gifts so that way he can then deliver them on time for the kids so uh just something to keep in mind in case you're interested that's all i have for today everybody thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video and i will see you tomorrow Yo, what's going on?